the students from West Island School in Hong Kong, and we're going to talk about global warming and the human effects on the environment. So, global warming. You may think it's not a big deal. It's just that the world's getting a bit warmer, so we don't have freezing winters and frostbites. But you'd be wrong. So global warming has a huge effect on our planet Earth. There are ice caps that are constantly melting now. Like before, ice caps used, used to be very thick and cover a large area. But now, they are so thin and they cover so much less area. In fact, nowadays polar bears are dying because they can't find ice to live on. Previously, about 20 or 30 years ago, this has never ever happened. So, global warming is completely destroying our planet and all the wildlife. Why is there global warming, I hear you ask? Well, that's because in the recent years, like century, there's been a massive rise in the amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. And that's because there are lots more machines nowadays which burn petrol and, and fossil fuels. This releases large amounts of carbon dioxide. And it's also because now there's lots of deforestation, lots of trees are cut down, so there are much less plants to absorb the carbon dioxide and change it into oxygen. In order to absorb the carbon dioxide, we need lots of plants, like this school here. They tried to grow some plants. They're not the prettiest, but they go to F it. So, if you're trying to save our planet and reduce the amount of carbon dioxide, please try to plant some plants in your garden. Whoa, another problem of global warming is that because it's so warm, it increases evaporation from lakes and seas and rivers. This means there will be more water in the air and this increases precipitation. So there's more rain right now and hurricanes and typhoons bigger and stronger than ever before, like Katrina. Katrina is a hurricane caused because now it's warmer the strong the winds and the hurricanes are much stronger and there's much more water in the air. So, um, if you don't want to get drowned soon, stop global warming. Here are some things you can do to reduce carbon dioxide levels in our atmosphere. You can use energy efficient electronics in your home, such as efficient light bulbs. You can drive less instead, you can walk, cycle, or use the mass transit. This means that you can reduce carbon dioxide emissions. Check your tires. A car with properly pumped tires will be more fuel efficient. This means that you can burn less fuel, therefore reducing carbon dioxide emissions. You can also plant a tree. A tree will absorb one ton of carbon dioxide in its lifetime. Also, don't waste paper. For more information on global warming and our climate, please check out the website www.climatecrisis.net